Hello, thank you for tuning in to my video. Today we're going to be doing a soft blend. Here I already did my eyebrows and concealed and I'm just going to be applying foundation. As you can see, it's a little bright under my eyes. I have to use waterproof concealer to help with my eyes watering so I don't ruin my makeup. Here I'm going to take this matte brown color from my Juvia palette and just pat it all over my lid and build that brown color up. Now I'm just taking that same shade and defining my crease. Here I'm just using Elf's Camo Conceal to brighten my under eye. As I let my concealer dry, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia baking powder to kind of contour my face and just set the makeup. Now I'm just going to blend my concealer out with my Real Techniques face brush. This is the most important part. You want to make sure you're spreading the concealer and blending as you go. Now I'm just taking the same baking powder and gently dabbing it into my concealer because I still want it to look bright and the baking powder is sort of dark. Please don't forget to blend that neck. 
I like to put baking powder on my neck as well so that it stops creasing. Now, yes this is eyeshadow, but I'm going to be using it as a blush today just because I love how pigmented it is. Now this is an e.l.f. glow mist and it is amazing. Spraying my face before I apply my highlight because this is a loose powder from Juvia's. Now I'm going to be using a brown lip liner to outline my lips. This beautiful matte pink lip is from Maybelline. going to be using this pale brown shade on top of my lid and just kind of cutting my crease and blending it outwards. I'm just going to be coming back in with that darker brown to redefine my contour and clean up this eyeshadow look. Now this is my favorite part. I like to add fake moles with my eyeliner. Now I'm just applying mascara to prep for lashes. Applying lashes on camera is a no-go, so I hope you enjoy my transition. Now let's set this makeup. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.